what's possible with high intensity training? What possible results can I get? Well, you can always cite certain specific individuals as examples, of course. Mike Mincer, Ray Mincer, Casey Beater, Aaron Baker, David Durth, David Paul, and last but not least, the greatest and the most gracious of all, Dorian Yates. He's been very kind to give me some credit. You may have heard of David Paul, one of the famous Barbarian Brothers. A couple years ago, he approached me in Gold's Gym in Venice, California, complaining he had not gained anything at all in strength or size for five years. And I said, David, it took you that long to realize something was not right? Just joking. He had, in fact, been training two times a day for up to three to four hours a day every day for five years. He was mistakenly doing aerobic endurance training with, with weights, and that's the worst thing you can do. Remember, bodybuilding is not aerobics. It's not low intensity, long duration. You're not looking to build endurance. You're looking to build strength and muscular size. Bodybuilding is anaerobic, high intensity, short duration. Anyway, in one month under my personal supervision, David gained 7 to 10 pounds of muscle and improved his squats by 185 pounds. On March 1st of 1995, a young man from France by the name of Frederick Munte came to Gold's Gym in Venice for one month for the exclusive purpose of my training him. The first day in the gym, he said, Mike, what do you realistically think I could gain with heavy duty training in one month? I said, realistically, eight or nine pounds. I put him on the scale that first day, he was 174 pounds. When he left on April 1st, Frederick weighed 193 pounds. He gained 19 pounds of lean muscle. And I say lean muscle because you might be wondering, well, maybe 18 pounds was fat. Well, he was rather rangy, you know, tall, linear, thin skin to begin with. And the last day when we checked out his skin thickness, he and I were convinced that if there was any fat, we couldn't see it. On August 1st of 1995, Another gentleman by the name of Will Nasser came to, to me in Venice all the way from Egypt, believe it or not. Again, for the exclusive purpose of having me train him, personally supervise his workouts for one month. In that period of time, he gained 16 pounds and tripled the functional ability of his legs by 300%. His first leg workout, Will performed 11 reps with 250 pounds on a Nautilus leg extension. On August the 28th, he performed 35 reps. He tripled the functional ability of his legs in one month, something that very few bodybuilders do in a lifetime. Now, some people say, Mitzer, that's not possible. That's weak. You're just saying that to stretch the truth, to sound like you're cool and sell some books or something. I say, well, don't forget it was only 50 years ago that they said it was impossible to go to the moon. Of course, if you know literally nothing about the scientific principles of astrophysics, you look, at, you look up at that moon, you say, there ain't no way we're going there. If you know nothing about the scientific principles of high-intensity anaerobic bodybuilding, of course it seems impossible. If you're still operating on the childlike fuzzy notion, more is better, more jelly beans are better than less, so more sets and allow your workout to degenerate unwittingly into an endurance contest, of course you're never going to grow. You keep sunburning yourself. Christ, a dog knows better. Get out of the rain.